Hey, this is Justin Neely for Church Planning for the Rest of Us, and I'm here with my friend Joe Thorne, who's written a great new book called Note to Self. And in that book, you talk about something that I think is really important in the gospel centrality conversation, and that is uh, the helpfulness of the law. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, you know, the, the Bible says that the law is holy, just, and good. And sometimes in this conversation about gospel centrality, people really don't know how to think about the law. Like, what good is it? What does it do? Is it all bad? And um, the way that I break it down for people in our church is to say that the law does three things. Uh, that the law shows us what's right, it shows us what's wrong, and it shows us what's needed. So the law is, is a gift from God. It shows us what's right. It shows us His will and His ways. It gives us His commands. And this is a grace. He has left us in the dark. He has told us what He expects of us, what He wants from us. And so we know that it's summarized for us to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. He gives us the Ten Commandments. Out of that, all of these other commands are given. It's the prophets, the apostles, Jesus himself. They all give us commands to obey. So that's a grace. It's a good thing. The law shows us what's right, God's way. But it also shows us what's wrong. Yeah. Right? It, it exposes our own inability to keep that law. The, the law acts as a mirror, and it shows us that we are transgressors, and that we are justly under the curse of God, that we are condemned because we are lawbreakers. That, too, is, is a gift, sure. that it would expose this to us. Uh, and, sh and reveal uh, to us what we really are. Um, and in doing that, it shows us what's needed. Right? We need to be redeemed. We need cleansing. We need renewal. We need righteousness that we lack. And so in that way, the law prepares us for the gospel. It shows us that we need something that only God can provide. Forgiveness, mercy, restoration. And so it can lead us to Him. That's good. Well, for the guy that's hearing this, and this is kind of news to him, I mean, he knows it, but he doesn't know it. What are some resources in addition to your book that would help him uh, have a fuller understanding of the law? The first book that I read that really helped me uh, and, and was practical and experiential was a book by Samuel Bolton called The True Balance of Christian Freedom. It's a little Puritan paperback put up by a banner of truth. Uh, really helpful, but if you want a quick treatment on the law, uh, Table Talk magazine recently came out with, uh, with a magazine devoted to the three uses of the law in the Reformed tradition. Really good to pick that up and uh, start there. Good. Brother, thanks for your work. Keep it up.